print is a copy of a painting of a long-horned aurochs bull from a cave in Lascaux in southwestern France. The aurochs was a very large ancestor of modern-day domesticated cattle. The copyist was English researcher Douglas Mazanowicz, who helped preserve images from some of the world's most famous prehistoric cave paintings by recreating them on silkscreen. It is located at the University of the South in Tennessee. The Lascaux Cave was discovered in the 1940s by four schoolboys. The cave art is from the old Stone Age, the Paleolithic period, when humans were primarily nomadic hunters. Some of the bulls depicted in the cave are actual size. One is even larger, at 17 feet wide. In total, there are 2,000 figurative pictures, as well as many abstract images and symbols. Some scientists believe that the caves were a prehistoric planetarium where the stars were first charted. The cave walls were painted using local materials, such as iron-rich clay ochre, manganese dioxide, and charcoal. This is a portrait. It is an oil painting on canvas by the Spanish artist Francisco de Goya y Lucientes, usually known simply as Goya. It was painted in 1788, or possibly a few years later, and the title is the name of the subject, Manuel Osorio Manrique de Zuniga. He was the third son of the Count of Altamira, a prominent Spanish banker and aristocrat. The boy has been depicted at about four years old with his pets, a magpie carrying a card with Goya's signature, three lurking cats, and a cage of finches. The animals may be symbolic of innocence, the spirit or soul, and possibly even death. Don Manuel was born in 1784 and died at around eight years old, around 1792. The painting is around 50 by 40 inches, and the original can be seen at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Again, the artist's name is Francisco de Goya y Lutientes. The name of the work is Manuel Osorio Manrique de Zuniga. Tiger playing with his mother is by the French romantic painter Eugène Delacroix. Painted in 1830 to 31 with oil on canvas, it measures 52 by 76 inches and is located in the Louvre. Its subjects, a young male tiger playing with his mother, are treated with the emotion and drama typical of romanticism. Tigers do not grow in France, so where did Delacroix see them? He and his friend, an animal sculptor, were frequent visitors at the local zoo in Paris. Delacroix also had a pet cat whom some scholars claim he used as a model for his tiger paintings. Note that either of these animals could kill a person with his or her playing. The animals in this painting are mother and son, however, so their behavior to each other is harmless. Yet the young tiger's play prepares him for the dangers of hunting prey. His powerful hind feet, poised to kick his indulgent mother, are prominent, as are both animals' sharp claws. Delacroix's friend, writer Théophile Gautier, thought Delacroix actually looked like a tiger, quote, his tawny eyes with their feline expression, his slender lips stretched tight over magnificent teeth, gave his features an untamed, alarming beauty. Again, the name of the artist is Eugène Delacroix. This work by American artist Mary Cassatt is entitled Woman with Dog and was painted 1883 to 1885 with oil on canvas. You can see this impressionist work at the Corcoran Gallery in Washington. It measures about 39 by 25 inches. Cassatt turned from portraying the Victorian ideal of happy childhood scenes to figures of people, usually women or children or both, who are isolated and or reflective. American society in particular regarded her as radical because she also rejected traditional standards of beauty, preferring instead to depict her subjects with their actual features, not idealized ones. The woman or girl depicted is named Susan. She's a cousin of Cassatt's maid and reminded her of her sister Lydia. The dog belongs to Cassatt. It is a Brussels griffin, a small breed which loves to snuggle. Susan looks to the side, which is typical of Mary Cassatt's portraits. She is seated on Cassatt's balcony in Paris, comfortable in her space, absent-mindedly stroking the dog's fur, lost in her thoughts. <laughs>